Hi, I'm Lee and I live in Maryland and two years ago I bought the car of my dreams, the Highlander Hybrid. I'm having a very serious problem with the gas pedal and with all the gas pedal issues that Toyota has had historically, I'm very afraid. The dealership has had my car for 10 days and they are making up ways and reasons that are not true and not rational. They're telling me the car was off, but I have this video to prove that the car was on, the car was in gear, and the gas pedal was not working. And this was happening right in an intersection near my home. This video is to protect myself and to protect anybody who might have this. I don't want to be the first statistic for a major recall with another gas pedal problem. Okay, so the car says it's ready. The car's on. There is gas on the gas tank. I'm in park right now. The parking brake is right here. It's off. So this is on. Parking brake is off. My foot is on the brake. I'm putting it in reverse. And watch. I get off the brake. Pushing the gas pedal down to the floor. It doesn't work. I get it. It actually is moving just a slight bit with the gas pedal. This is the weirdest thing ever. It doesn't work. So that was reverse and drive. Same thing happens. There's no gas. There's no, there's no power whatsoever coming to this car. What I don't understand is that um, it says it's ready. This is the last person that saw my car. I brought it in for um, a weird noise, and it was a bad. They said that it was a. Um, they said it was a bad wheel bearing, and they replaced the left wheel bearing here on this side, the left front wheel bearing, and then it was still making a weird noise. I brought it in, but they said when we did a test drive, it wasn't making a weird noise. So then I did another video of me driving away with making a weird squeaking noise. It was like a terrible squeaking noise. So that went away, but then now the car doesn't work at all. Um, I don't know what to do. So after that, I turned the car off. I called AAA. The tow truck operator came about a half an hour later and the car started right up. The gas pedal was no issue at all. He drove it right onto the flatbed tow truck took it to the service station in Maryland and the car started right up for them. The problem is things don't happen in isolation. Once the gas pedal didn't work on that occasion in the intersection in front of my home, it's going to not work again. But Toyota service and Toyota headquarters is telling me that the battery was dead and they actually made up a convenient story about the car being off and that the battery had to be jumped. And I said, wait a minute, I was there, my husband was there, we all watched the car just drive right off. This is a gas pedal problem, a computer problem, something serious. After the Toyota dealer had my car for 10 days, I went in to see the car. They brought it out, I did not drive it, I did not do anything with it, I sat in it to wait to speak with the tech or the manager. They were not available to come after an hour, so I walked in and discussed this. I did not sign this document, and it clearly says that vehicle performing as designed, no work done. If they didn't do any work, then they didn't find the problem and the car is not fixed. So I am not comfortable driving it.